The new collections management plans by Professional Advantage really help take collecting to the next level. Rather than wasting time manually figuring out which customers to contact, the collection plans take much of the legwork out of this process, automatically sending out reminder emails to your customers and creating tasks for your collectors such as make a phone call, with the plan tracking the payment progress of the invoices all along the way. This enables your collectors to be more efficient, spending less time finding which invoices are outstanding and more time actually collecting the payments, reducing your day's sales outstanding. This is even truer if you've been using collections management already. For example, suppose we have a few queries we have used in the past to manage our customers. In this case, I have a bad customer query for those who haven't paid documents over three months old and another set that have no documents older than three months. I can assign these query groups to their own collection plans to dramatically streamline my collection process. Collections management now comes with sample data to help quickly get you transitioned into using collection plans. You can access this information via the sales pane under Setup, Collection Sample Data. This window gives us the option to choose what kind of data we want to install, but if you click on Plans, all of the boxes will check automatically because a collection plan uses all of the other features. The next option is to decide where you want to save your word letter templates. These should be saved in a shared network location where all users can access them. Once this value is set, click Process, and now the sample data is set up for use. At this point, you will want to physically copy over the included sample word letters to the shared network location. If you go to your GP folder, such as under Program Files, Microsoft Dynamics, GP 2013, or GP 2010, go into the Data folder. This folder will contain several Word documents. Select each of them and copy them. Paste the copies directly to the shared network location you had specified before. Now that this is complete, if you want to edit the word letters, you can go to Cards Collection Letters. Let's say we want to go to this letter. We can see that it is pointing to our shared network location. When we click the blue expansion arrow, Microsoft Word opens up, displaying the letter template. As you can see, the sample data utilizes all of the collection functions to personalize letters similar to a mail merge function in word processing software. If we want to add our logo, we simply insert it and resize to the needs of the document and save our changes. Going back to GP, we can go to Cards, Collection Plans, and scroll through to see the plans installed with the sample data. There are three different plans included, Good Customers, High Risk, and Regular. Place customers on a collection plan by going to Cards, Assign Customers to a Collection Plan. There are several different options for making these assignments, but since we've built some queries already, let's use those. Using From Query, choose Good Customers. Click Mark All to select all the customers in the query results. As you can see, you can also hunt and peck individually in this window if you so choose. We will select the Good Customer Collection Plan and then click Assign. Those customers are now assigned to a plan. We will repeat this process for bad customers using the High Risk Plan. Finally, the remaining customers not yet on a plan are left showing. We'll choose Mark All and assign them to the regular plan. 
Unchecking the display, only those customers not on a plan box, allows us to see all customers and the collection plans that they are assigned to. Setting up and using collection plans is as simple as that. In the next video, we'll discuss how to start using collection plans to communicate with our customers.